This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. Police are investigating after multiple people were found dead inside a Pembroke Pines home. This happening in the 1600 block of Southwest 156th Avenue. Officers responded to a call last night that said a man had murdered several family members and intended to kill himself. Police found several people shot dead. They also found a child who was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The man accused of stabbing three people, killing two, and wounding another sits in jail facing murder charges. Jason Roseman was taken to the Broward County Jail yesterday morning. Police say he stabbed and killed Hannah Bonta, her mother, Jan Kirkland, shot their dog, and critically injured Hannah's boyfriend, Craig Newman. As Coconut Creek police responded to the scene, investigators say Roseman opened fire, injuring officer Andrew Renna. Renna is recovering at North Broward Medical Center. Meantime, Hannah's friends are giving us an update on her boyfriend's condition. Craig is a fighter, so he, I just, yeah, he's made it out of his second surgery, which is going to be his last. Roseman is being held without bond. Nearly two dozen City of Miami firefighters may be flying to Puerto Rico or the U.S. Virgin Islands to help prepare for any impact from Dorian. The department was alerted by FEMA to prepare late Sunday night. Now they're waiting to see if they get an order to fly. Firefighters spent hours packing rescue and communications equipment. They'll even take boats and have a doctor with them. This is not the first time they've helped the islands. They were there to help families after Hurricane Maria in 2017. Now they're prepared to go back if needed. We want to make sure that the, the locals there get the most immediate assistance possible so that if there is any life-threatening uh, situations, they can be treated and cared for. Miami Fire Rescue says neighboring Miami-Dade Fire is also on standby to help out. If the firefighters get an order to leave, they don't know when they will return home. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. And Tropical Storm Dorian a little better organized as it's moving west at 14 miles an hour with max sustained winds of 60 miles an hour and moving across the Windward Islands later today into tonight before it emerges into the Eastern Caribbean and has the opportunity to become a Category 1 hurricane. Puerto Rico, Hispaniola on high alert as for the potential impacts. It's still uncertain. However, right now it looks like it will be strengthening as it moves over Hispaniola, though, once it moves over the mountainous terrain, likely weakening here as we head into the weekend, could be over the Bahamas as a depression. In the meantime, locally, we're waking up to the low to mid 80s, a mix of sun and clouds. And as we head into the afternoon, high soar to the low 90s, it'll feel like the triple digits. And with the heating of the day and some moisture around, we'll see storms developing. Through tonight, spotty storms warm and muggy with the upper 70s. And as we head into your Tuesday, the chance for those scattered storms again, sizzling for the rest of the week with a chance for spotty storms. As as we head into the weekend, we'll be watching the tropics. Lisa, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.